Hello, today I'm doing another Raku firing and I figured while I'm at it, I'm also going to do a horsehair firing or rather a horsehair technique where I'm going to pull a pot out of the kiln that has not been glazed and I'm going to place horsehair on it to create a kind of um, black lines. Okay, I'm going to perform the horsehair right here. Usually what I do is have a piece of kiln shelf heating on top of the, the kiln so that it's, there's not thermal shock, but I, I forgot. And you only need the piece to be heated up between 800 and 1100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, but this is a little bit hotter, whoa. So what I'm gonna do is pull that out. And what's nice about it, because it is so hot, it's about 1600, it's gonna have time to cool off and lose that red glow before I'll have more working time basically. I'm going to use uh, feathers and hair so you can see what different effects those make. All right, so I'm going to pull this out now and then I'll set the camera up here so you can see that. A few tips is to have the horse hair ready. So I have this horse hair, I only have three strands, I don't need much. I prefer um, less is more approach to the horse hair. Thing. And if you're using a feather, the feather is going to leave a big black mark if you use it like this. Take the feather and separate it. Like pull it apart so that it's more irregular. You can also, what I do is I'll rip out portions of it so that it's, 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 it leaves some room for the clay color to show through instead of being a big black um, mark and I might do this last because sometimes these burn too quickly okay so I'm kind of tearing it up a bit and opening it up so that there's spaces that's optional you can also use sugar um, I might grab that and, sh and show you that too okay so have that ready okay don't wait until you have pulled the piece out of the kiln to have the, the combustibles ready got the cup it's super hot I'm gonna take one strand and hold it tight and lower it Oops. it's very very hot So I got the, those markings. On this side, I'll show you what the feather does. Actually, I'm gonna let it cool a little bit first. I'll show you what sugar does. By the way, sugar smells way better than burning hair. Sugar gives you like little black dots. So timing is important because this was so hot the hair burned off really quickly let's see I'm gonna put this like singed piece here and see what happens see now it's burning much more slowly and leaving more fume marks okay I think it's probably ready now for the feather so you can see what that looks like Pretty cool, right? So now I would let this cool off and um, maybe uh, wax it. Here's a look. You can see the feather burned on like a fossil. Beautiful dark black. The gray and black speckles are the sugar. The kind of grayish halo around them is the smoke. This was the horse hair. Less hot 
This is the horsehair more hot. I threw a little bit inside. 